Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lastly here. Welcome to episode number five of Fatal Team of the Year, Harry Kane style. So, so far, so good in this series. We've won not all of our games, but we've come out on profit in all of our episodes, which is the major thing, right? Because then we get to get upgrades. And you guys have picked out a couple of upgrades for us today. If we take a look at the squad, boom, uh, you can see that the new additions to the team uh, are going to be the 84 rated uh, left back Ashley Young. So second in form Young. And then 87 rated Pogba. So Two very, very good options. The Man United boys won the vote quite heavily, I would say. I reckon it was about two-thirds to them and a third to uh, Firmino and Alonso, I think it was. And then, as you can see on the bench, uh, we have another icon joining. Like, I don't know how much game time Rui Costa's going to get. And this is the 88 as well. Like, you made me go out and buy an icon. I've got the 90, untradeable, but it would have been cheating if I used him. Uh, so I had to go out and spend, what, 400k on someone that I'm probably not really going to bring on. But he's another option, right? If, if we need him, we need him. Uh, if De Bruyne gets a little bit tired during the game, well, to be honest, I've probably already brought these three on. So uh, someone here is going to miss out. And it's most likely to be Rui Costa because I'm going to need to shore things up with Fabinho. Henri beats Costa, in my opinion. And I definitely want Bonucci whilst we've still got a silver centre-back to replace at half-time. But you never know what the situation might call for. So, the starting eleven has only got two silvers left in it. And, like... <laughs> worst case scenario, this is our team that we go off into the knockouts with. Uh, not too bad at all. Uh, so, But we, we definitely want to upgrade our left centre-back and our right back today. So let's go out there, earn some coins and do just that. Do me a favour, hit thumbs up on this video. Let's try and hit a thousand likes. And of course, sub to me and everyone, all 16 of us that are taking part in the series. This is the crucial time because in a few days' time, I'm going to be playing someone and you're going to want to watch both legs. So make sure you check everybody out. Okay, guys, that didn't take too long. And our first opponent today is going to be rocking an all Liverpool team. And I've got to say, that front three really, really worries me. 87 Mane, 87 Bobby Firmino, and 90 Salah. This could get dangerous. Those three are very, very powerful players on this game. It's also my first game of the day. Uh, so, it should be good, shouldn't it? So, um... Mane, who's super quick, has got a, a silver player to get past. <laughs> I think we're still on side. Oh, we were, but didn't make the most of that one, did I? So other than the front three, like a, a plain Liverpool team is actually not the world's greatest thing. Well played there, defender. Thank you for blocking that one. Let's go on the counter here, shall we? No. Nope. Like, Virgil van Dijk's great, Matip's pretty good, uh, but other than that, like, uh, the, the Liverpool team is not something, I, it's not as good as what I've got currently, uh, but that front three, like, rivals mine at the moment. Like, this Bobby is doing me damage already, uh, but let's push, let's push. Come on, how does he get there? I don't understand. I'm giving the ball straight back to him, it's just stupid. He's doing the same to me, so it's just a sloppy game so far. This one's not going anywhere at the moment. Aguero there, just gifting it back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good save. Clear it. Oh, I've done that again, haven't I? Good save. I tell you what. I do that thing where I just pass the ball out of the box. I don't, I don't properly clear it. Oh, what a run from Aguero. I'm hoping Kane's going to work his way to the back stick. He's not... De Bruyne, though, come on, 30,000 coin goal, like, that was super lucky that it just bounced and dropped down to me there, and De Bruyne, with his new and improved weak foot, up to five star, is able to just net that one, <coughs> I'm sure he would have been able to do so with the four star as well, but the added sort of, uh, like, safety and security in your head that you know, the peace of mind, it's there. Yeah, it's an easy little volley. Like, that couldn't have dropped any kinder for me. I wanted the header with Kane, but it didn't quite work out. But we'll take 30,000 coins. De Bruyne wins that one. Plays it to Kane, who I want to go on a bit of a run here. One twos it, and I'm through, right? Oh, my God. Did not know that was going to happen. Keep it. No way. All right, Kane this time at the back stick. Surely. Uh, it's not gone back stick. Keeper's got to it again. 
Aguero, though, on the turn. Blocked. I should. I reckon I should be 2 or 3 nil up here. I've got to take these chances because he might get back into this game. Hit that, Salah. Oh, roof of the net. That's a lovely goal. Like, what a way to bring that ball in to your feet and turn at the same time and then whip it in the top corner. We might even have a rage quit on our hands with the pause there. Like... What? <laughs> this guy's fairly decent. I'd be surprised if he quits. I am surprised. This is my new surprise face. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's find a new opponent, shall we? I mean, we earn 60,000 coins plus 100k. 160,000 so far this episode. Nice. All right, this is my second opponent. Whoa, he's got he's got 87 Bobby and a special Firmino. Um, he's got 87 Bobby and a special Salah as well. Like nearly a full special Prem team there. Moy, Wijnaldum, Lanzini, uh, Zaha, Stones, and Virgil Van Dijk. That's a strong team. How good's this guy gonna be though? Can't change player. There we go. Ooh. <gasps> I mean, that sort of came out of the fact that I somehow couldn't really change player. And I just it just slipped through to him. Weird. Oh, I'm through with Aguero. Go on, lad. What a goal. Look at the pace. The pace from Sergio Aguero right there. Puts me 1-0 up. That was ridiculous speed from the Argentine. I actually thought it was Salah that he was so quick. Because Salah's known for being really, really quick. Aguero on this game doesn't normally feel like that for me. But that touch and then burst past them two defenders. Christ. Nice. One of them's Kyle Walker, I'm pretty sure. Right, so a good start. That's a 30k goal. Again, though, where's Harry Kane at? <laughs> I'm not scoring with him lately. Uh, good save, De Gea. Yeah, the lock-on is not working so well on this one. I'm switching to goalie. Oh, my God. Yeah, this, this for some reason feels weird. Something's not quite right in this game. Down the line to Ashley Young. Going to cut inside. Going to whip it. No, I've still got it. I'm going to play it to Pogba. He's got to boom that. Oh, damn it. Pogba boom would have been nice. Oh, Kane has got an opportunity. What was that? I've gone with the finesse shot when I need to be powering that. Oh, Aguero tries to slot that one through. Oh, Pogba's touch is poor as well. This game's just, it feels like it's not on tracks, which is a weird thing to say. Like, it doesn't feel like it's playing how it should at all. But the connection's perfect. It's fine. Offside. I think. He's not. All right. That was basically perfection there. And he's gone. He's quit as well. So two episodes in a row, guys. We've had first half rage quits. Like, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to show you more content. It kind of annoys me because I've not been able to bring on any of my subs. Because everyone seems to quit in the first half. But we go 2-0 up again. And this guy quits as well. So how much do we earn there? 30, 60, um... 30 up to 80 because Harry Kane's a 50k goal. Uh, we earn 180 from that one plus the 160 that we'd already earned. We've got coins to work with, guys. Okay, guys, so we're back and I've figured out two different options for you for our possible upgrades. Now, uh, having like 340k or whatever it is to spend on a centre-back and a right-back from the Prem uh, is difficult because... In terms of centre-backs, there's like one really expensive one, which is out of our budget, which is the Inform Azpilicueta. Uh, and then in terms of everyone else below that is like 70k and below, right? So that leaves us with a huge budget to spend on a right-back. And if you get like one, uh, ones to watch Walker, we could get, uh, but... It's pointless, like we just might as well get the 84 walker, right? Uh, and then Inform Valencia at right back is, again, way out of our budget. And then the rest of them are like 40k. So uh, we're nowhere going to get close to our actual budget today. But I've got two pretty solid options for you. Option number one would be this. So I've not just gone with like Eric Bailly because he's he's too cheap. You know, I'm trying to get to those higher end of the spectrum uh, special uh, centre backs. They may not be as good on the game, but I'm more interested in using them. Makes the team look better and stuff. Uh, so it would be to bring in... Uh, 
Antonio Valencia at right back, super solid, has always held like 20 to 30k in price. He's very, very good on this game. Uh, and then it would be the 86 company, who's actually orange. So it's a man of the match company, would spice up the team a little bit. Um, yeah, he's not the quickest, but I think he looks very strong and his defensive ability would be good. Six foot three, which is going to help alongside Nathan Aki, who's uh, only in the five foot still. So uh, he's like 5'11", right? Yeah, uh, and we could, we could probably do that because Aki's actually left footed uh, and it would mean that company would go uh, right center back next to Valencia so that would be option one and option two would be this it would be to play uh, Vertonghen's in form 86 rated Vertonghen who again looks very similar to company actually he does look very very similar apart from uh, high high work rates I don't know if that will come into uh, be a bit of an issue at all uh, but he is rocking around sort of 70 80k something like that so uh, yeah we'd definitely be able to afford him and then the 84 Walker uh, and it can be the ones to watch if you want it could just be the regular version I guess because we've got the budget we can say ones to watch walker in case for the very slight chance he got some sort of um informal boost from something along whilst we're still in the fatal competition so ones to watch walker uh, and 86 rated vertongan uh, or Orange Company and Valencia at right back. So I'll let you guys choose what you would like. You know, vote in the uh, in the description. There'll be two straw polls. One will feature the the two upgrades here today. Uh, do your best. Vote for whoever you want to see come into the starting eleven. Uh, and then the other vote will of course be for my substitutes. There's lots of good players that we came up against in that episode. Uh, but don't forget both of the Salas that we came up against obviously can't be voted for because we've already got him in the squad. And any duplicate players like that, I just won't include in the vote. Uh, so choose whoever you want. It doesn't really matter. They're unlikely to get in the team uh, because of Fabinho, Henri and Bonucci. But go for whoever you guys want. You never know. There might be a way for them to fit into our, uh, into our side come the, the second half of our knockout round game. So... Next time you'll see me in Fatal is when I've been matched up against an opponent, uh, another YouTuber, uh, and we'll see who that's going to be against. I'm very excited, very nervous to see who that will be against, uh, and we'll do our very best, guys, to, to work our way through. Last time, I got through the first round and then had a couple of very tough games, or three very tough games, against Nick28T, who eventually just about beat me and ended up going on to win the tournament, I think, uh, or go into the final anyway. Yeah, it was into the final, so... Um, we did pretty well uh, to, to take him to three games. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Sub to me, sub to everyone that's involved. Thanks again to Bateson for inviting me to the series. Looking forward to getting stuck in to the knockout rounds. Have a good day, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.